Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. what's good, everybody? Bro, I ain't even going sugarcoat. I ain't gonna do nothing. We're just gonna get straight into the video, bro. Look, I know the title. The title's pretty crazy. I ain't gonna lie. The title's pretty crazy. But look, hear me out, though. Hear me out. Don't get on me, bro. We all got things of our past, you know what I'm saying? Back in my, you know, so back in my day. It's crazy how I'm saying that, like, like I'm not 20 years old, like I'm still not young. And back in my youthful days, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm pretty old. Ah, <sighs> good times. And look, I do not promote promiscuity at all. If you got a girl, a boyfriend, just leave her, you know what I'm saying? Leave him. Don't do what I did, you know what I'm saying? Hear me out. Just learn from me. I approve this message. Before I even get into the story time, if y'all want more story times, put it in the comment section. We want more story times. Okay, so look. Honestly, it's really a long story. The story is how I got caught having sex in school. Three mans. It's really a three mans. This was my first three mans, technically, because there were three people there. Let's just start in the beginning. It was me, my homeboy, Quan, and, uh, and another nigga, his homeboy. I didn't really know him, but whatever. It was a school day, but I was at the crib. All right, y'all know, like, in school, when I think uh, uh, the juniors and like the sophomores or whatever, you gotta take like that that test when the school is like all blocked off or whatever, and you gotta be real quiet. You can't go in certain halls because they're taking a the test. Uh, yeah, that test. My homie, he was at school, but he skipped class, and he was like, "Bro." And meanwhile, look, that day it was his birthday, and meanwhile he was chatting with this girl or whatever, and this girl was like, "I got a friend." My homie's like, "I got a friend." Look. If your friend ain't putting you on like that, that ain't your homie. You know what I'm saying? That nigga is not your homie for real. She was like, I got a friend. He was like, look, I got a friend. Bro, but he wrong as fuck, though. He wrong as hell, okay? He, bro, she was chopped like shit. My nigga, she was like, like, she had that wagon on her, you know what I'm saying? She had that thing on her. But she was chopped as fuck. I'm keeping, I'm, I'm, keep, I'm keeping it a buck with y'all niggas, bro. She was chopped. So I had to take one for the team, though. And I never done no shit like that, bro. I ain't never messed with a fat girl, bro. It was my first one, never tried nothing. I was like, this might be a great experience. You know, I heard fat girl got great. He was skipping class and the school was literally down the street from my crib. He texted me, blah, blah, blah. He was like, bro, come to the school. I was like, what for? <laughs> if I gotta walk all the way down that damn street. Street, it's literally a, a straight, it's a straight drive. It's literally a long, it's a straight walk. Walking up this walking up the streets probably like 45 minutes, bro. Dead ass. In a car, one minute. <laughs> one minute, 30 seconds, my nigga. You're you're down to my crib. I'm like, bro, what for? Are you telling me to come down to the you telling me to come to the damn school? It better be something good, bro. It, it better be something good, my nigga. He tell my son, bro, I got a girl for you. You know what I'm saying? I got a little tame. What I look like cheating on my girl doing that. He was like, bro, bro, bro. He was like, what? Boom. I eventually ended up walking down the street because she was like, we were going to do something. I was like, man, she ain't going to do nothing. She cap. That bitch won't cap it. Uh, I ended up walking down the street 45 minutes, my nigga. Long gas walk. I see him. Boom. We outside like the, in the baseball hood out there by the field. And we all kicking it. Well, y'all chopping it up. And we're like, bro, so what we doing? Like, what we about to do? You know what I'm saying? You know me. I got straight to the point. Not me. <laughs> I'm lying like shit. But Quan got straight to the point, bro. And then she was like, so what we gonna do? I was like, what we gonna do with it? Because, nigga, I'm not fucking outside. But you know who was fucking outside? Homeboy. Quan homeboy. This nigga right here. This, nigga this, this man walked all the way across the football field. At the football field. And then you got the big ass bleachers, right? Behind, beside the bleachers, it's like a whole bunch of trees. Big, tall trees. This nigga. Hey, going crazy. He was, he was uh, getting crazy. I think Quan got a video because he recorded it. He all the way over there getting busy. I, bro, I ain't never seen nothing like that in my life. That, that, that was some corn shit, you know what I'm saying? So then I'm like, bro, my man's getting busy over there. What we finna do? You know what I'm saying? What, what, what's happening? We can go inside the gym. I'm like, not, I mean, not the gym, but we can go inside the, the gym class next to the gym hall. Because, like, that class is always unlocked. It's like it's always on lot and there's nobody never in there because like how this, the, gym, the gym schedule was and we knew it your boy got that so your boy on one side 
Quan on the other side. Hear me out though. The room is dark. Why would the hell would we have light in that bitch? Ain't nobody finna get caught. On the other side, I ain't never done no shit like that. I was lucky kinda nervous. Hear me out, bro. I ain't never done like that. I was low-key kinda nervous. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all niggas. But she was like, pull it out. She 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 dumbed me up. I ain't gonna lie to her. Her head was low-key trash. Because I was feeling her teeth. I ain't say nothing. Hear me out. I ain't say nothing. When she was talking outside, she was like, oh yeah, I'm about to slurp you. Blah blah. You know what I'm saying? I was like, she was like, I'm about to slurp it up. Etc. I was like, okay, let's see what you're talking. You know what I'm saying? You get inside the room, won't get teething me up. Like, I should have hit that bitch with the. I should have hit that bitch with the. Should have curved stumped that hoe hitting me like that, bro. Biting me like that. But my boy Quan, it's his birthday, right? That's really the main reason why he got some. Old girl over here with him, she like, uh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Right. She's my son. Well, let's just go inside the, uh, the locker rooms. Let's just go inside the locker rooms. Okay. Bro, the third dude I'm talking about, this man going crazy. I mean, it's like a, it's like the walls inside. You got the locker room, got the wall right here. I'm on the other side. Quan in the back. I'm on the other side going crazy. I'm going crazy, you know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 why, why? I'm going crazy. Next minute, all I hear is. <laughs> now somebody shaking that ass. I, I peek, I, I stop midway. I'm like, damn, that ain't me. That ain't me. I stop, peek over to the side. This nigga going crazy. Like a white nigga in the porn scene, like in the, in the corner scene. He, <laughs> I'm like, damn, nigga, chill out. Meanwhile, my man Quan over here getting played with, getting the blue balls. Oh, I'm like, bruh, you ain't even, if you weren't gonna give me nothing, you could have just been playing around. You guys just been. She basically wasted my man's time. You know what I'm saying? Quan didn't get nothing on his nigga birthday, bro. She did this man dirty. I got good. He was low key pissed off. We was, we was, like, we was like just talking in the, in the locker room because we were about to leave. And then next minute, we heard like the door open. So we ran. Like we, we ran to the other side. There's like two sides. We ran to the other side. And we literally just hopped inside a locker room. Like, we hopped in a locker. <laughs> Quick as hell, like, what's that? <laughs> like some school bully shit, you know what I'm saying? This nigga turned on the lights. What's his name? Uh, Coach Wingate. This nigga turned on the lights. He was like, I know somebody in here. And then right when we were back, like, right when we were back to come to our side, the girl, was, she, the, he saw the girl. And he was like, what you doing here? And he was like, nah, I heard somebody else. She was like, no, 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 I'm not. She was like, I'm just getting my clothes or something. She was like, he was like, nah, you not being in the gym class. She was like, and I heard somebody else. She was talking to this nigga. Me and this man, Quan, sprinted past this nigga quick as shit. And literally, we couldn't do nothing. We was able to go or get caught and take the chance. So you know what I mean? So we took the chance. My nigga, we bust out that damn walker fast as shit. Wow. The exit door was like literally, ah, boom, go straight. And that's where he was at. He was in like the, the walkway. So he was back to come to our side, but he was in the walkway. But he was turned the other way, so he couldn't see our face. So soon, we opened the door, boom, came out. Went past that nigga. And that's the part of the three. <laughs> Bro, you know what's so crazy? That's not even the end of it, because this leads up to something else. <laughs> this three man leaded up to something else. And if y'all want that, if y'all want that part two, put it in the comment section that y'all want that part two. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button. If y'all want more story times, y'all already know what to do. We want more story times. And I'll see y'all niggas on the next video.